Hey y'all, hope that all is well. I know that it's been a minute, but I just wanted to come on today and I just want to share this word with y'all. Um, I actually just went to open up my Bible and this is what it opened up to. And so um, I just, it, this chapter just resonated with me and just confirmed, you know, so many things. So I hope this um, can help somebody tonight. And I hope that this word uh, speaks to you. And I hope that the Lord, um, that the Holy Spirit will give you revelation on how this word applies to your life. Okay. So we're in Isaiah uh, 41. All right. And the word of God says, keep silence before me, O coastlands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together for judgment. Who raised up one from the east? Who in righteous called him to his feet? Who gave the nations before him and made him rule over kings who gave them as the dust to his sword as driven stubble to his bow who pursued them and passed safely by the way that he had not gone with his feet who has performed and done it calling the generations from the beginning i the lord am the first and with the last i am he the coastlin saw it and feared the ends of the earth were afraid they drew near and came everyone helped his neighbor and said to his brother be of good courage see the craftsman encouraged uh, so the craftsman <laughs> craftsman encouraged the go uh, the goldsmith he who smooths with the hammer inspired him who strikes the anvil saying it is ready for the soldiering then he fastened it with his peg with pegs that it might not totter but you Israel are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Praise God. God says, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, God says, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing and those who strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you shall be as nothing as a non-existent thing for I, the Lord, your God will hold your right hand saying to you, fear not. I will help you. God says, fear not. I will help you. Fear not. You worm, Jacob, you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. The Lord continues to say, I will help you. Okay. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small. And make, oh, come on now, whew, Jesus. And make the hills like chaff. I don't know if that's chaff or chaff. You shall winnow them. The wind shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord. And glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy seek water, but there is none. Their tongues fail for thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in desolate heights, in fountains, in the mist, okay, of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the acacia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tree, the myrtle and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress tree and the pine and the box tree together. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this. Come on now. And the Holy One of Israel has created it. 
the uh, present your case says the lord bring forth your strong reason says the king of jacob let them bring forth and show us what will happen let them show the former things what they were that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare to us things to come show the things that are to come hereafter that we may know you are gods yes do good or do evil that we may be dismayed and see together. Indeed, you are nothing and your work is nothing. He who chooses you is an abomination. I have raised up one from the north and he shall come from the rising of the sun. He shall call on my name and he shall come against princes as though mortar as the potter treads clay. All right. Who has declared from the beginning that we may know in former times that we may say he is righteous? Surely there is no one who shows. Surely there is no one who declares. Surely there is no one who hears your words. The first time I said to Zion, look, there they are. And I will give to Jerusalem one who brings good tidings. For I looked and there was no man. I looked among them. But there was no counselor who when I asked of them, could answer a word. Indeed, they are all worthless. Their works are nothing. Their molded images are wind and confusion. Now, let me tell you, I don't know about y'all, but this spoke to me in so many ways. God is a powerful God. God is a good God. God is sin. He is your God. Fear not. Don't worry about nothing. You ain't got to fear whatever you are going through. You ain't got to worry about people who talking bad about you, who putting, you know, whatever on your name. You ain't got to worry about people saying, you know, this is not of God or what you are doing or not is not of God or, you know, just just slandering your name or, you know, whoever is just speaking up against you. Don't worry about your enemies. God's got them. And continue to pray for them people. He said what he was going to do right here starting. Okay. In Isaiah 41, 18, I will open rivers in desolate heights and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the acacia tree, the myrtle and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress tree and the pine and the box tree together that they may see and know and consider and understand together. He says that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Whatever God is going to do in your life, He's going to show that he has been with you the whole time. That's what this word is saying. He's going to show that it was him. He started off first saying, this is, this, this is the God that I am. I am God, period. The I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see, he calls him Jacob in here. He don't call him Israel. Y'all, I just pray that this blesses somebody. I hope that this helps somebody tonight. And just know that God has already gone ahead of you. He's already taken care of that very thing that you are worried about. Do not worry. God says, be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Make your requests known. Okay? Do not fear. God is your God. And he says it several times um, in here. That yes, I will help you. God is going to help you. God is going to help you. God is going to help you. You've been praying for divine connections. God is going to help you. You've been praying for help. God is going to help you. You've been praying for the finances. God is going to help you. You've been praying for that open door. God is going to help you. You've been praying hallelujah for the strength. God is going to help you. You've been praying to get your peace back. God is going to help you. You've been praying for deliverance and breakthrough. God is going to help you. You've been praying. Hallelujah. Whatever you've been praying for, you've been fasting for that home. God is going to help you. You've been fasting for your son and your daughter and your family. God is going to help you. All right. He's going to help you. He's going to help you. 
So I pray that the Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit gives you revelation on how um, this word, that how you can apply this word to your life, okay? Like I said, I hope all is well with y'all. And um, I understand that we are all going through, you know, different processes of the uh, <laughs> shaping, molding, developing, and the, uh, the you know, whether, it's, whether you're in a separation season, whether you're in a season of, um, you know, um, whatever season that you are in, all right, you are right where you're supposed to be. Everything is right on time. Because God is that good. He's that great. Okay. Don't look up and look at everybody around you and see what, you know, or see, look at people on Instagram or on social media saying that you are behind. You are right on time. Remember, God is not in a, he's not boxed by time. God is in, uh, he, 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 he's an eternal God. He makes time. All right. So walk in full, of, full confidence and authority, knowing that God has already gone ahead of you. And that whatever it is that you need, God got it. All right. Without God, you are nothing. But with him, all things are possible to those who believe. All right. God bless you. And um, I'll continue to pray for y'all. And let's pray for one another. Um, I plead the blood of Jesus over you all. And I love y'all. But Jesus loves you with unfailing love. All right? Stay encouraged. Bye-bye.